Hello, lovely ladies. Beautiful. Let's talk through the macro calculator. <laughs> okay, so in our Facebook group, macro tracking and weightlifting for women, if you scroll down to the featured and then scroll, 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 you can go right here to the macro calculator. And in here, you'll see the different documents, okay? So we're gonna talk through, let me stop my share here. So we're gonna talk through um, if your carbs are way lower than what the calculator says, or here, let me do one thing, or if your calories are way lower than what the macro calculator is telling you to do, um, what should you do? Okay, so that's what I wanna talk to you ladies about today. We've been having that question a lot. Okay, so a few just kind of uh, disclaimers. So as a reminder, the Queens of Iron Calculator is designed for women who lift weights. If you do not lift weights, probably not the best resource for you because it takes into consideration that you're lifting weights, okay? So remember that. That's why we have higher carbohydrate because A, it's your primary fuel source for everyday life, right? Walking around, brain energy, like mental energy, just natural energy. It's also your primary fuel source for weightlifting, right? So we want to make sure that you have enough carbohydrates to support your diet, or excuse me, to support your lifestyle and to support your work out, right? Your training demands. Okay. Um, so I'm going to share the calculator and I'm going to just talk through how you can adjust the calculator based on your needs. Okay. Beautiful ladies. Beautiful. Now, um, I want to remind you one thing. So I'm going to zoom in. So hopefully you can see this well. I want to whoa, remind you one thing, click file, make a copy, and then be like my macros, right? Otherwise, you won't be able to edit it. If I let you guys all edit this, it would be a freaking disaster, right? Because everyone's numbers would be in there. So click file, make a copy, and, and that way you can edit your own, okay? No one will touch it. Okay, so let's assume that you have your calories. So let me just type in some info here. So what's my weight? 143, let's say 145. 145 BMI, let's say like 17.5. Physical activity level, say 1.5. This is me, and this is, I'm, I'm very active. I walk like 10 to 20,000 steps every single day, usually more on the 12,000 steps. Um, I actually only lift weights three times a week because I've maintained my body for like four years, right? So I don't really have to lift that much now. Um, but I am just super active. Like I skateboard, which is funny. I longboard with my toddler, right? So we were just really active. So that's why I choose 1.5. Most of you can probably put 1.4, um, or maybe 1.45 that is in the instructions. Okay. So when you click here, I'm just going to show you guys this really quick. Um, 199. So here's the instructions that you'll see, right? Insert into cell E14, the activity level, okay? And actually I should probably put, anyway, I'm like maybe I should put activity level, but this is how you know your activity level, okay? So anyway, so let's say that I wanted to lose fat. Here's a question, you're like, so do I do maintenance or deficit? Because you can lose fat in both. It's like, do you want the scale to go down or do you want the scale to stay the same? I would say the majority want the scale to go down. So I would choose deficit, weight loss and fat loss. So 1890, great. So now you put that here. Okay. I actually adjust these numbers a little bit. So uh, your fat and protein is a little bit higher than it was before. But let's say for some reason that this is um, like this. Okay. And you're like, oh my gosh, 250 carbohydrates, grams of carbohydrates. I've only been eating like 115. How am I supposed to go all the way up to 250? That's scary, right? Because people are like, don't eat carbohydrate. Well, some people, not, not usually in the weightlifting industry. Um, so what do you do, right? Well, as you just saw, you can adjust. Now, our macros are set for high protein, moderate fat, and high carbohydrate. That's what the calculator is set for. Research is showing that healthy levels of protein for active adults is 1.2 to 2 grams of protein per kilogram body weight, current body weight, kilogram, 
okay? We actually have ours now set, it was set at 1.9, which is like the very upper end of high protein. It's at the very top. So we're definitely considered high protein, which is funny because it's way lower than what a lot of you are doing, right? If you have not seen the research review on protein that we did and you wanna see that, type in protein research review in the comments or send me a message, I'll send it to you. I showed like five different articles from the past three to five years, peer reviewed research articles showing the healthy amount of protein and what's recommended. We always, we always need to stay up in the industry, it's ever changing. Um, so anyway, if you're eating like, let's say, so let's say that it's 243 grams of carb and you're eating like maybe 115 or, or anything under 200, right? You don't just want to jump straight up to this, which is the note I made here. Do not make massive adjustments at one time, right? So you need, got you on the protein research. Love it. Love it. Yep. Just like that protein research, we'll send it to you. Um, you don't just want to make quick, quick big changes, especially with carbohydrate, because you can retain all this water and feel super fluffy and get really bloated. And then suddenly think you're gaining all this fat because the scale just shot up five pounds, but it's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. It's just a lot of glucose. It's just a lot of carbohydrate that we just need to slowly work up. Okay. So that's the first thing I want to say is don't just do a big jump. Slow is smooth and smooth is fast. We want to go nice and slow. Okay. I got that from the army, by the way. I did not make that up. Okay, so there's a few different routes we can take. The first one is, if you would like to know how to reverse diet, I'll share a little here, but if you would like to know like what to expect in the reverse diet process and in a deficit or in maintenance or in a surplus, comment phase video, P-H-A-S-E phase video. I have a video walking you through. Here's what to expect in each phase. And here's how much you should increase or take off uh, calorie wise. So that's just more detail that I'm going to go today. So phase video, I'm happy to send that over to you as well. Let it, got you ladies. I see all this. I will totally answer um, all the questions here in just a minute. I love it. Please send them in. Yeah. Okay. So first things first, there is wiggle room, right? And so remembering that you're using your own sheet, you can change your protein, right? So if you want a little bit higher protein, our menopause ladies, some of them are in 2.2. So it's like, if you want higher protein, fine. Put 2.2, so that higher your protein, it lowered your carb, but it's keeping your calories the same. The healthy range for fat is 0.5 to two grams of fat per kilogram body mass. Ours right now, on the, well, it was set for 0.9 in the, or maybe I did 0.85, I think I did 0.9, yeah. So ours right now in the calculator, I'm actually editing the real calculator. Um, if you want to jump on, you can actually be here as I'm live editing it if you're interested in that. But anyway, so I have it set to 0.9. Realistically, health-wise, you can put it as high as 2.0. However, I would never recommend this for weightlifting women, ever, 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 ever. Look at that, that is not healthy. The healthy amount of carbohydrate is two to eight grams of carbohydrate per kilogram body mass. Two to eight grams, that's higher than all three macros. Wild, right? That's just healthy for uh, adults, active adults. So the reason we typically, actually we, maybe 10% of our clientele is over 1.0 gram of fat per kilo body mass. And that's because they're like over 250 pounds or like just their body type specifically needs higher fat at this time in their life. Most of our ladies sit at about 0.75 to 0.85 grams of fat per kilogram body mass. This is 0.9. Great. It's also a lot higher calories. So maybe I'll actually go back to 0.85. You can choose. Yeah. And now 2.2. Let's drop this shoe. I'm just going to do two to ease your guys' minds a little bit more. <laughs> okay, great. Um, so that is one thing that you can do is you can make these adjustments, right? And so like if you need to bring your carbs way down because you're reverse dieting, it's like, okay, that's fine. Let's see what 0.95 grams is. Let's bring this back up to a 2.2. Now you're all the way down to 187 grams of carbohydrate, but your expected uh, deficit is still the same. Does that make sense, ladies? Is that, are you following me? 
how you can make those adjustments? Let me know in the chat while I'm waiting for you to share with me. Like you can even drop a one if you're following me or drop a two if you're just not following me at all. Okay, I'm gonna answer these questions really quick. Is it Ayana? I wanna, make, I wanna definitely pronounce that right. Um, so it depends on your body as well for carbs. It does. Yeah, it depends on, got you ladies, perfect. Um, yeah, it depends on the body type. Absolutely. So if you are an endomorph, which is like very, very wide hips, um, the sometimes actually endomorphs have a pretty fit upper body or more lean upper body, um, but hips and thighs, it the it's like this quite a bit right that's typically an endomorph a lot of ladies think they're endomorph but they're actually a meso so if you just have very very wide hips like i think i'm pretty sure that's called an apple <laughs> i'm pretty sure like that you know that song back in the day um but typically endomorphs they need higher fat and lower carb because they don't process carbohydrate as efficiently a mesomorph which is what i am where you're decently proportional to an extent like we still carry fat and hips and thighs, I just as women, um, but for the most part, pretty proportional. That's called a mesomorph and you can process all three macros pretty efficiently, like um, similarly together. An ectomorph is typically you really struggle to gain weight, you're really thin. Um, some ectomorph males, they just have tons of muscle mass and just very, very, very small amounts of body fat. They need as much carbohydrate as humanly possible because they're just processing so fast. They just need instant energy all the time. So they just can fly through carbohydrates, which is really cool. Cool. Um, yeah. And so actually, I really want to debunk this a little bit. And so endomorphs do tend to say, I really struggle with weight loss. Definitely. Um, what I have found just through coaching, you know, so many women and seeing different body types and seeing different macros and different lifestyles and just the trends that occur is it's not actually necessarily that your body, that there's something wrong with your body with losing. It's actually just getting the right plan for you, getting on the right macros, same with menopause ladies, just getting on the right macros, getting on the right weightlifting routine for you. So you really can start seeing the results that you want consistently. Right. Definitely consistently. But it takes being consistent on your side, too. Right. So definitely like a tag team effort. But it's possible. Have all the hope in the world. That was the point of sharing that. <laughs> OK, cool. And then here's another question. What about keto? I would never, ever recommend keto. And I'm just going to be really blunt and really honest. Um, and it comes from a very kind heart. But I want to educate for sure. So doing keto, it's just a fad diet, honestly, and it creates metabolic inflexibility. What that means is it teaches your body how to no longer process carbohydrate. So when you start adding carbohydrate back in, because we live in a world to have a healthy and sustainable balanced diet, it's like you don't just totally cut out a macronutrient, right? It's crazy. It's like cutting out protein, right? It's, it's literally the same logic it would be like, man, we don't need protein anymore. Let's just go all carb our fat. It's like, what? Like they, all three macros, there's actually four, our pulse one as well, but all three macros have a specific function in the body. Um, so anyway, you learn to no longer process carbohydrates. So when you add all the carbohydrate back in, your body's like, I don't know what to do with this. I don't know how to process this. We're just going to store it as fat. It just digs you into a hole deeper and deeper and deeper. It teaches you no lifestyle tools. Um, I guess if you have a lifestyle coach, but they probably wouldn't do keto if they really understood the lifestyle is my assumption. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's just not a healthy balance approach. Like I just don't understand it. Maybe if you ran marathons, you need, um, you know, endurance running, you'd need higher fat, but I still would never cut out carbohydrate. It's our brain's primary fuel source for energy walking around, doing life, working on the computer, playing with your kids, like your life requires carbohydrate as a primary fuel source. Um, so if you want to feel your best and nourish your body your best, you need to give it what it needs to thrive and it needs carbohydrate. So I wouldn't suggest keto for anybody. Um, for women who are morbidly obese, sure, the keto diet may be best for you at that time because you can't even process carbohydrates really well. So it's like we would need to do a really slow reverse starting on high fat, but I would never call it keto. I would just call it, let's get on the right macros for your body. 
basically. Yeah, PCOS. And so, um, yeah, of course, you may need to decrease carbs. I have found, we have worked with several PCOS um, clients. What I have found is this a lot of food quality, food sources, not so much the macro. Totally understand that you will need lower carb. Absolutely. Like, absolutely, I would do lower carb. Um, but really focus on the food quality. And really, it's like, ladies, we got to fuel our body with health, not just like a diet to lose weight, right? It's like we need to know how to healthily live. That naturally leads to shedding excess fat, not like kind of going with the trends of different things, right? Look up where keto originated from. I think that will help. Okay, great. Good question, ladies. Really good question. Um, I Again, I hope the bluntness comes out really kind. It is. like it, There's so much bad information out there. Um, doctors know very little about fitness and nutrition, right? Just like um, trainers know very little about being a lawyer, right? Like we all have our specialty, right? It's like how much training does a doctor go through for nutrition? My understanding is it's two college classes, right? So 40 years ago, things might have changed a little bit. Five years ago, things have changed actually a lot. This industry changes so fast, which is why at Queens of Iron, we're so focused on research because it's like, ladies, we can't go by what we knew 10 years ago. We have to stay up with the peer reviewed research to see how the fitness and the nutrition industry has advanced, right? Because it's always advancing. We're always learning just like every field, right? Okay. Love the questions. Love the questions. Okay, great. Um, so let me see. So if the carbs are lower, yep. So we can um, bring up protein and fat. Do, 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 do. Let me see anything I missed, ladies. Okay. If you're, let's go to calories. If your calories are way lower, let's say you're eating like 1300 calories and it's like 1900 you're like what the heck you know that's crazy um i would recommend increasing by like 75 calories to 150. some of you literally need to increase by like 75. if you're doing a thousand to 1300 calories i would do 75 calorie increase every three to five weeks so if you're at 1300 do 1375 every day for three to five weeks, getting consistent, seeing how your body responds, okay? Then if you're steady and hopefully still losing, increase another 75 calories. Get consistent, allow your body to get steady, and then again, hopefully you're still losing. Then go up another 75 calories, right, and so on. Again, you can comment phase video, P-H-A-S-E, if you want more details and what to expect each week with compliance as well. Okay. Slow and steady. It's, it's not like a super sexy approach. It's just, it is what it is, right? We just have to give our body time. We just have to give our body time to adjust. And you must be compliant, right? To really see how those macros, how your body is responding to those macros. Otherwise, it's just kind of a toss up, right? We want to make logical decisions, not emotional decisions, especially with macros for sure. Got you on the face video. Love it. Okay. Um, great, great, great. Oh, yeah. I said, um, oh my gosh working with a professional for the reverse diet is way, way, way recommended because this process can go wrong really quickly. You shouldn't be gaining a bunch of weight. If you're gaining muscle, beautiful. Um, but usually it's a pretty slow gain for muscle. So just be really careful. If you do want to totally take the guesswork out, just be told exactly what to do. So you can just follow the process and get the results that you want. You can comment coaching below. We'll talk through how we can support you and what the process would entail for that as well. Okay, great. For those of you who, for some reason, um, like cannot invest in yourself in this way right now, watch the phase video, get a system for tracking progress and just start putting in the work, start tracking the progress, start seeing how your body's responding. Just keep learning. It's a longer approach, way longer, obviously, but you're still on the right track, right? As long as you're on the right path, that's a good thing, but you don't want to just be on random paths or going the other direction. Right? So just track the data, track the data. Beautiful. Okay, ladies, does this help with the questions of either my carbs are too high or, or not too high, but way higher than I, um, way higher than they were or my calories are, let's see, did I just do those? Like, wow, that dropped down a lot. 0.85. Okay. 
Yeah, so this is actually for you ladies. And maybe I'll check to, here, let me take this out really quick. I'll check um, our 200 and above calculator. That was 199 and below. The reason I created two is because your guys' situations are really different. And uh, so the calculator, it needs to be different. That being said, yeah, 1.2. That being said, remember it's a calculator. It's not specific for one individual, right? It's as specific as possible, but it is created for the masses. It's not like one-on-one, -on -one, right? Um, great, I hope that really helps. Let me know any questions you have because we want this to be a super valuable resource for you ladies always. We wanna see you succeed and thrive and finally conquer your body and not have this be a thing anymore, but just live free and light and with joy and not feel bogged down by the stress or the pressure or uncomfortability, definitely. Okay, great ladies, have a beautiful day. Thank you so much for being here. Let me know if there's anything we can do for you. Um, for those who may be waiting for a message from me, please click my name and then click send a message. Sometimes it goes into the request folder if we're not friends on Facebook. So to see that if I've sent you a message, if you're waiting for one, I probably have. So just click it and then you'll be able to see that. Thing. Great, have a great day ladies, see you later.